Hi, this is Brantley with Foolish IT, and we are back with another Crypto Prevent Folder Watch Honeypot Detection versus Ransomware. This time we are showing off Windows XP being protected with the Folder Watch Honeypot Detection against the WannaCry ransomware that uh, recently had a major outbreak last week. Uh, I've gone ahead and applied the Honeypot Detections uh, by enabling Folder Watch the quick access tray and here you can see we have folders selected to monitor and you can add your own custom folders uh, to watch as well and then of course we have the honeypot detection enabled. Uh, the honeypot detection is the only feature that is a premium feature only in terms of protections otherwise uh, You'd be able to use Folder Watch, which will use the Honeypot, or will use the hash definitions to uh, detect if anything is placed in these folder locations and matches our hash definitions. If so, it will automatically get quarantined into this folder, or you'll have access to our software restriction policies, which if the uh, malware sample gets dropped into one of the protected locations, it will be blocked immediately as well. So those are our free protections that you can still apply and works on Windows XP. The honeypot detection would require a uh, premium license and would have to have Crypto Prevent Premium Edition to enable, but we feel that the protection is well worth it. Uh, I've gone ahead and applied it so we don't have to wait for that. I uh, just wanna show off those honeypot files and show you a quick tip here if you have hide protected operating system files then you will not see the honeypot files if you disable that protection or don't have that enabled you see all of the honeypot files show up here um, if you don't want to have to see all of those you can uh, go into your folder options for windows explorer and hide your protected operating system files. You can still have show hidden files and folders, but normally you don't need uh, to see the protected operating system files. So usually you should always have that checked anyway. Otherwise, before we run our sample here, I do want to mention that you would want to make sure Windows XP is fully up to date if you have it connected to the internet. Um, that would mean being on Service Pack 3 and if applied all the updates. I believe with XP now you pretty much have to use the automatic updates to get the updates installed on your computer because the version of Internet Explorer will actually not even go to the Windows Update uh, site anymore. I can't show it off right now because I have a network disconnected. But uh, they have released a patch recently uh, Windows XP is no longer supported by Microsoft and hasn't had patches for quite a few uh, years now. But in uh, wake of this major outbreak that affected a lot of companies, uh, Microsoft released a patch that protects against the worm side of the WannaCry ransomware, which essentially once WannaCry got infected on one system, it used an exploit that was found in a leak from uh, the intelligence community and spread from computer to computer on the network. So Microsoft released a special patch for Windows XP for that and you should go out and download it. Uh, the link for this page is down here in the description below and pick your version of Windows XP all the way up to Windows 8, which is where this exploit applied. Windows 10 actually did not have this issue. However, uh, you would wanna make sure that this is installed, and in general, you wanna make sure that Windows XP is fully up to date if you have to have it on the internet. If you're still running Windows XP being such an outdated operating system and have it connected to the internet, um, highly recommended that you find some way to not have it on the internet. If it has to be there to run legacy programs that can't be updated, then you should segment your LAN so that those uh, systems are not able to access the internet and only able to access each other so that no exploits or things like that can be taken advantage of. 
because this is just one of many issues that Windows XP has besides the fact that majority of your internet software out there nowadays doesn't support Windows XP. Um, a lot of your major browsers don't support it. Most of your backup software doesn't support it. So all of those are good reasons not to have Windows XP on the internet or even connected to your uh, systems that possibly have access to the internet as well. But we'll go ahead and run the WannaCry ransomware and show off the honeypot detection like we've all been waiting for. So you can see it drops a bunch of files and you can see uh, crypto prevents honeypot detection has already been triggered and giving us a warning message to shut down or reboot the system. Normally you would want to shut down the system and scan it in offline mode check the event logs to see what uh, caused the honeypot trigger and if you had email alerts enabled you can just check your email alert because it would have sent off an uh, email alert as well. Um, if you're not sure how to do any of that you probably want to contact a qualified technician and have them look at it for you. For this sample and this particular case I know uh, the honeypot detection was triggered before the malware was able to add any of its startup entries. So we actually can go ahead and restart and check out what got encrypted and see how well it did. So while our system reboots here, um, I do want to make a special mention to backup software. With backup software and making sure you have a good backup routine, ransomware would be almost completely obsolete. Uh, you would still want to have other layers of security like crypto prevent and active antivirus and good firewalls, network filtering applications, and appropriate user permissions and segmenting things that don't need to be on the internet from other things that are connected to the internet, various items like that. But really with backup software, there's no reason to pay any kind of ransom because you'll have all your data safe and be able to restore it. No problems. Um, crypto prevent and all the other security layers make it so you don't have to fully rely on your backups, but backups are the number one most important thing that you can be doing with your computer nowadays. So if you don't have one of those, we don't currently offer any software for backups because there are so many great uh, pieces of software out there already. The one we prefer and we're not endorsed, uh, not sponsors of or paid for or anything is Crash Plan. But you can use the built in Windows backups if you have a pro version of XP. Um, there's a easy transfer uh, program that Microsoft released that you can do manual backups for Windows XP for free. Um, several other backup software out there. Um, a lot of it doesn't support Windows XP anymore, so you would be far better off upgrading to a later OS version that's still supported by majority of software and using that kind of backup. But uh, otherwise, I would just recommend having at least one backup, if not multiple. I actually use CrashPlan and Windows Backup, both the Windows 10 and the old Windows 7 version. So. I actually have three separate backups backing up my data. So if anything happens to any of the hard drives or any cases, I'm covered there. So let's check and see what uh, got encrypted with our uh, ransomware attack here. So looking around, I see one honeypot file. It looks like it got encrypted. So we got the WNCRY extension there. I am not seeing any other ones there. So let's check out our documents. Not encrypted. Excellent. Uh, let's check out a picture. Not encrypted. Perfect. Let's go through our documents, see if we can see anything in there. All looks good. Files are still good. Pictures, good there no encryption music all good there uh, let's look at the shared music 
All good there. Shared documents. All good there. So it looks like uh, the ransomware was only able to encrypt one of our honeypot files, which doesn't matter there, and then it was blocked. And it was blocked even before it was able to add any startup protection uh, to re-enable itself on reboot. Um, just a note that if it was able to add startup entries and had started again trying to encrypt things, you would get that honeypot uh, trigger again, and it would ask you to shut down or reboot the system. Um, as you can see, that WannaCry software is still on the system, so you would want to have your system cleaned. Crypto Prevent will just block applications. It won't clean up your system. So if you do get that honeypot trigger, you would want to have your system cleaned and verified and check the event logs and histories and things like that to determine why that uh, honeypot detection was triggered. But otherwise, it uh, looks like everything was protected here. And just to show off what would happen if we did not have any protections, we're going to go ahead and set our protection level to none here and then run that ransomware again and see the difference. All right, and now that we have our protections disabled and applied, it's asking us to reboot. Since we only had the folder watch protection enabled, we don't actually have to reboot here. Um, we can go ahead and close the tray icon and we can see that our folder watch and honeypot detection have been disabled. Don't have any protections there. So let's go ahead and see what that WannaCry ransomware would do to us now. So I'm just going to launch that same one again. And we'll see what happens here. So looks like on the desktop we already see some differences. And looks like we are seeing some encrypted files here. And it's dropping itself all over the place for ransom notes. And decryption stuff. If we go and look in there, we can see our documents look like they are encrypted. They all have the WN cry. If we try to open it here, definitely encrypted. So without the honeypot detection, uh, the system was fully encrypted and you can tell that that was a real sample and would have encrypted files without the honeypot detection enabled. So there's our iconic uh, decryption that has uh, gone around the world. Uh, since this is just a test system, it doesn't really matter. But that shows off Crypto Prevent uh, Folder Watch Honeypot Detection blocking uh, WannaCry ransomware. It was only able to infect one or encrypt one honeypot file and wasn't even able to add its startup entries. So Crypto Prevent Honeypot Detection did its job there. Again, want to note that that is a premium feature, so you would need a Crypto Prevent Premium license to be able to utilize that. Otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed this video and stay safe out there.